intensity in the crowd here. It's wonderful. The atmosphere is terrific. Gina Rodriguez from Chicago. Mike Crawford. We get the word that they turned out on that. Terrence Crawford, he can stay out here all. I'm perfectly comfortable fighting around. That changes the equation. Fighting so far. Said and I expect suing this from this position all. All week long, such a calm demeanor and exactly what he needs to do. Good right hand on the inside, but showing early, Colonel. I think he's, he's the boxing all night like this. Gamboa is with the height difference that Crawford has. I'm speaking somewhat candidly, but it was at least the promoter wanting to go to 140. Team knockouts. You saw what happened with something past the year. Uh, as quick, uh, you know, suddenly two changes. Good right hand on the inside. But did Crawford light right and then a, a decent so far. Decent. Exchange shots. I thought I get the better of it. Rounds that may may not. Fighter who comes from a beat a fighter in the place that adding deeply embedded in it. This man, and he's getting hit more as he does as a right-handed, and that's why he does it. Well, he's not switching; he's just fighting left-handed. But did it shake Gamboa? Gamboa's on the punch really well in there. Billions round is not confusing him in the slightest. I don't think he's trying fighting him in his conventional style. He just saw uh, that My opinion. Yeah, well, so you know he said that puffy little right hand hook. This is a softball. He feels like he has more power than as this kid Gamboa's very hand with his hands. Oh, he hurt him with a right hand. Yeah, he's done with his with the left hand. <laughs> He hit him with the right to the left hand drop. Now so how about that? And the roof is about to blow. Reckless. Said he was going to have to at some stage. Terrence touches him up with a pretty good jab. Whacks him with the left hand. Down jump with the right hand. Gamboa is fighting, fighting right back. Hand. Hang on. Terrence putting his will on Gamboa right now. Slide to his right. Nail with the right hand. He's ready to go. But we're out of time in the fifth round. Now he's back on his heels. <laughs> it's Gamboa now. And he's nailed with that left hand and drop. You're right, Larry. He was getting brave. And he was out of position. And the rest of this round, he's fighting on instinct. More importantly, he took some heavy shots at the end of that round, so let's see how he can... At the end of the fifth. 47 off. Yeah, at the very least. I think right now, the thing is, can he continue? He's fighting as a right-handed fighter now, and he continues to hurt Gambo. Buff was stuff ad nauseum, but he made it work for him. Yes, he did. <laughs> Like Gamboa is throwing darkness that he's got to... You don't get to be as good as him. Flat-footed, I was just going to say that, Colonel Still. Off ball now. Closing seconds now. This is... The bell ends the sixth. Cuban corner people love to pull water. So he's dripping water all over the place. You're thoroughly... He just slip, step in between. He described his his torture. They've done in the corner. He's revived. Well, as you pointed out, Colonel, he's been looking down. Gamboa looks like he's going through motion. Not, not as soon. Punches that Gamboa threw and nothing really touched Crawford. Now
now we see the advantage of the taller guy. Gina Rodriguez says, hey, get that corner cleaned up. Start with Larry Merchant for Gina Ponder. Crawford is ambidextrous. I mean, slow down just a bit. You know, it's one punch at a time. But Crawford's never been in with somebody like Gord Feet separating the two fighters. So while the crowd attendance far ahead, Crawford really is on the score sheet. Uh, he'll get for everything he does at the very least. Oh, here's Gamboa in the process of landing some shots. Now, oh, oh, he's down. He dropped him. Hit him with the right hand and the left hand. And the knee went down. Did he take risk? And he had to take risk. And it hurt. So Gamboa has been down twice in the fight now. But that changed the complexion of the fight right now. There's not a lot of time left in this eighth round. There he is again. Did he get hurt again as Gamboa? Let's take a look at this knockdown. Now you see who's on the assault. Not really landing many blows. And then bang, right across the jaw, left hand, and a solid right hand. Gino just got himself in position to make that call because he was kind of behind. That was able to call that immediately when that foot hit the canvas. And now, well, Gamboa has to know that he's got to make something. Back down twice. He knows in fourth and fifth round. Uh, actually, the second third. And now, going back to convincing when he lands an uppercut. So he did switch in mid-course mid because that right. Look a little wobbly uh, right now. Not sure what happened either, but when he went back to the corner after the higher to me, the intensity of this fight. Boa is a fighter. I believe that he hurt Terrence Crawford at some stage of this night. Hey, Crawford could have straightened up the right leg of Gamboa. He drops him again. That's a hard knockdown this time with the left hook. Two seconds, he's back at him. Gamboa is totally out of his feet. Can Crawford catch him one more time? There's no quit in Gamboa. He keeps battling, falling forth. Oh my God, drops him again. To be a real champion. Remember, there are stages in that round where I thought that he might have been hurt. And he drops him with a vicious left hook. Never before defeated. Obviously, never been knocked out. One of the most celebrated amateurs of his time at 32. Two minutes, 53 seconds of round number nine. The winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of Omaha, Nebraska, USA. Still, WBO, lightweight champion of the world, Terrence. Folks, will come back the next time.